Okay, welcome back everybody. Um, yesterday, that dude over there that just walked behind me just did a video. Today, he started talking about fucking this game called Doki Doki Literature Club. Told me fucking nothing about it, don't know shit, and I'm gonna play it. I didn't even click in the game. I got no clue what this game is. This looks like one of those Japanese anime, like, dating games. Hey! I see an annoying girl running towards me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she totally obvious, totally obvious to any attention she might draw to her. So, oblivious. My bad. That girl is whatever the fuck that name is. My neighbor and I did friends since we were children. You know the kind of friend you never seen yourself making today, but it kind of works out because you've known each other after so long. Oh, okay. I, I kind of get this. This is kind of like the Archie comic so far. We used to walk to school together on days like this. Around high school, she would oversleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. I just saw an idol in front of the crosswalking lid. Blah, blah, blah. Catch up to me. Hey, hi. Sorry, I can't take this game seriously right now. I'm not gonna. I overslept again! <laughs> no. I didn't even try to pronounce your name because I'm just gonna make myself look like an idiot. But I caught up to you this time. Maybe only because they decided to stop and wait for you. Wow, I'm a dick. <laughs> Let's just start the game off. Maybe because I decided to wait up for you. I'm a dick. And you say that like you were thinking about ignoring me. Please tell me, like, no shit, that was my plan. That's the mean, the younger. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Wow, this game really is starting off, like... <laughs> this game looks so innocent, and then you're just like, asshole. Just fucking asshole. Fine, fine. Hold on, I just realized I don't even have the music turned up. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean even if you want to. Whatever you say. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm not really interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh, that's not true. You told me you were joining a club this year. Did I? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our main conversations where I just mistily go along with whatever she's she's going on about. <laughs> this sounds so like me so far. <laughs> yeah, I know you never listen when I'm talking. No, I'm talking about just me in high school. I would just say yes to everyone just to get them to shut the fuck up. Looks worried, a little. Hold on one sec, you guys. Um, I had to throw a penny at her. Uh, I was talking about. I'm worried you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'd die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're... Do you see where you managed to get the coin? Perfectly on the court. Get your shit out of here. You chess me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. All right, all right. I'll look in. I'll look at a few clubs if you make me happy. No promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Yeah! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? More than that, I'm surprised I even let, I'm let myself relent to her. Blah blah blah. The school day is or near as ever, and it's over before I know it. 
After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall looking for an ounce of motive. Clubs. Checked out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but start with anime club. Hello? Oh my god, she's fucking back. I thought I'll, I'd catch up. Uh, I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, if you're even worse than me sometimes, I'm impressed. Oops, double click. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, you know what? Well, that you would come to my club. Bruh. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to your club. Eh, meanie. He's the vice president of literature club. Okay, please explain to me how this game is supposed to be, like, really bad. I'm so confused so far. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in literature. I'm, in fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help us start a new club. Since she was the first to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title Vice President. Wow. That said, my interest in literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please! Why do you care so much anyways? Well, kind of told the club yesterday I would bring in, new, in a new member. And whatever the fuck that name is, made cupcakes and everything. If someone said there was cupcakes at the club, you can go. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep. I can't tell if it's really... That much of an airhead, or if she's cunning, so as <coughs> to have planned all this out. I let out a long sigh. Fine, I'll stop by for cupcakes, okay? Woo! She's doing the same thing I am. I'll stop by for a cupcake. And then I'll fucking leave. Yes, let's go! And thus, today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. Blah, 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 full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here. Told you don't call me a new member. Bruh, look at this club. Just look at it. Guys, everybody, hey, new members here. I told you, don't call me a new member. And eh, I glance around the room. Welcome to Literature Club. It's a pleasure meeting you. Okay, this is one thing I don't understand about Japanese games. Why the fuck do they always have big tits? Like, can someone please explain that to me? When was the last time you played a Japanese game with, with a majority of females with small tits? Because I can't think of one off the top of my head. Can you think of one? Can you think of one? Which one? Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. This is creative. Guess what this chick's name is? Yeah. Seriously, you brought a boy. Why? To kill the atmosphere? Ah! Majority is big tits again! <laughs> ah, the Joker. What a nice surprise. Wait, hold on. How the fuck does she know my name? Wait. First of all, I don't know her name. But I would have known her name then. Shut up. Welcome to the club. All words escape me in this situation. That's Could have cracked my screen. Wow, my one thought. This club is full of cute girls. <laughs> what are you looking at? 
If you want to say something, say it. So sorry. Hmm. Okay, so we know this chick's name. What was the sour attitude whose name is apparently whatever the fuck that is? Is one I don't recognize. Her small figures make me think she's probably a first year. She's also the one who made cupcakes according to whatever the fuck her name is. Shut up. You can just ignore her. She gets moody. She's probably on her period. So he says that quietly in my ear and then turns back towards the other girls. Anyways, this is blah blah blah. She's always full of energy. Shut up. Shut up. And this is the smartest girl in the club. Don't say anything like that. Has appeared. Oh my god. Probably the most popular girl in class, smart, beautiful, athletic. Okay, is this just a game of reading? But this is just a game of reading. Okay, because this is so far boring. So having her smile at me generally feels a little... You too, whatever the fuck. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Yeah, how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few dust and ranks to form a table. Mention it would be widened so there's one space next to Monica and one space next to what is space. Walks over to the corner of the room where I grabs the wrapped tray and Yuri opens the closet. It's still feeling awkward. I sit next to what's her face. Marches back towards the table tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta da! Whoa! It's a foil and reveals a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look a little cat. A fucking corset's cat. The whiskers are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolates where you can make the ears. So cute! I had no idea you were good at baking. Heh <laughs> well you know. Get to a hurry take, and take one. Grabs one first then what's her face and I follow. It's so delicious. You didn't even fucking eat the cupcake. Say talks with her mouth full on and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around and my fingers looking at the best angle and take take a bite. Can't help but noticing her sneaking glances in my direction. She is waiting for me to take a bite. Finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. This is really good. Thank you. Why, why are you talking? Why are you thanking me? It's not like I... Haven't I heard this somewhere before? Made them for you or anything? Eh, I thought you technically did. Well, maybe, but not for you. you. Not for you, you know, you dummy. Oh, dummy. All right, all right. I give up on weird logic and dismiss the conversation. This game is boring. Turns the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before sitting down. <sighs> Keep a whole tea set in the classroom. Don't, don't worry, the teachers gave us permission after all. Doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Uh, I, I guess. Oh my god, this game's boring. Especially don't let yourself get intimidated. It's trying to impress you. And that, that's not. It's self-failure looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. This tea is legit. It seems exactly like me. So. I'm glad. Going to this book club because the girl I was teaching was full of girls, so you hit on every single one of them? No, I'm, the only reason why I would have went to a book club is because it was tough. And he doesn't seem like hitting on anyone. Okay, can you hit on by everyone? Oh. Your normal upkeep to tell people to go away is fuck you or fuck off. Okay. I'm just gonna end it here because I'm starting to get bored a little bit. We got 15 minutes, not surprisingly. Thank you guys for watching. This little fuck got me a little bored, so. Have a great day, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye!